the United Football League has made it through its first season, and the playoffs are set. I'm ready. The Memphis Showboats, they win the number one pick for the 2025 draft. We have the USFL Conference Championship between Michigan and Birmingham. On Saturday, the XFL Conference Championship between San Antonio and St. Louis on Sunday. And these are games that just got played this past week. So we will see double the rematches. For me, the UFL this year has been marred by attendance issues. For me, that, that's one thing that a lot of people have said, you know. The other thing is, you know, oh, well, people aren't, you know, some weeks people are tuning in, some weeks people aren't. So that that's another thing that kind of, you know, had me on edge for most of the season. And the third thing, um, the third thing was that I, I, I was kind of tapped out on spring football for a hot minute. So forgive me if I ain't made a video in quite some time, but hey. The UFL is here to stay, I think. I think we can make something out of this, you know, with the UFL. So forgive me for, you know, being a little late to the party. But, hey, we made it through the season, and that's, that's what matters here in the UFL. That's what matters here. So the 9-1 and one Birmingham Stallions, that was the other thing, I think, too. The other thing was that Birmingham – had lost the game until just recently. So the 9-1 Birmingham Stallions, led by Adrian Martinez, will take on the Michigan Panthers, whose most notable player is their kicker, Jake Bates, to be completely honest with you. Um, and on the other side, both 7-3 teams, St. Louis gets tiebreaker by virtue of beating San Antonio, you know, or rather having a better conference record in San Antonio. Um, of course, you know, A.J. McCarron leads St. Louis. And for the Brahmas, they have a nice wide receiver by the name of John Tay Kirkland, who's been, you know, absolutely beastly. I know there's other guys like Luis Perez or Jordan Tom who, you know, have been in, in, in this scene for quite some time, past couple seasons. But what's really important here is that these four teams left they can play some pretty good football. It's 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 pretty good, interesting, you know, game. You know, definitely differs from you know twenty twenty three you know USFL XFL competition type thing where you know both leagues were kind of just uh, uh, chopping at the bit of each other. And that's the one thing I that's one of the things I do like is that the teams, you know, the teams in these respective conferences are chopping at the bit of each other. They it is truly a rivalry. It is truly a rivalry now. Another thing I think, um, you know, could help the U.S. go out in the future is more and more and more, you know, stuff. You know, the broadcast windows have been great. I mean, you see a ABC window that could have went to PLL or something like that, or the WBA for like a double header. But no, this is a, this is a top slot. We got top billing. For you know, windows, the broadcast windows is one thing they got right this year. The UFL did was having a lot of games on broadcast TV. You know, sometimes now it didn't always work out because of Fox being, you know, Fox and doing things that don't make any sense, like doing regional windows. But now, you know, next year, 2025, you got the Friday night games. So that's gonna be interesting. Ah, Friday night UFL, so that helps. A lot because of you know SmackDown leaving, you know to um, USA and Netflix and stuff like that. But um, yeah, the momentum is the momentum is high. I think you know both these conference championship games can get you know close to a million, if not over a million viewers, and then the UFL championship game itself. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work out because I believe on that. Day, it's a I believe on that day it is um I believe there's an NBA finals game that day. It's either that or maybe I'm tripping. I think no, no, it's by itself. So there's nothing there's nothing here that 
can dissuade the UFL from doing anything in the championship game, of course, will be Sunday, June the 16th. We'll talk about that game, you know, like right after it's, or rather not right after it's done, but a little bit after because I got to do this weekend in North football for that week. So, you know, it'll, it'll be after that and then I'll premiere it or something like that. Same thing with this video. I'm probably going to do a premiere thing for it because, you know, time is of the essence and I'm not going to have two videos out in one day. So um, I'm excited. I know I didn't really say too much. I really didn't add too much to the conversation here, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out because that's what the purpose of this channel is, is to get my thoughts out and have you guys, you know, discuss amongst yourselves in the comment section and stuff like that about it. But yeah, I'm going to put out a poll at some point this week about who will win the UFL championship. Um, and I'm just going to do it, you know, with the four teams, I'm just going to see who in the world is looking. So again, a lot of y'all have been voting in these polls, but the weird thing is y'all are not subscribing. That's the weird thing. Y'all are not subscribing. I need y'all to subscribe. We're trying to get the 300 subscribers by the end of August. I think that's a reasonable goal. You know, and then, you know, once, you know, the NFL and college football are back in the picture, oh boy, it's going to be one hell of a, going to be one hell of a good fall. So I hope your summer is going off to a good start, and I will see you all in Beaumont. So I will be in Beaumont on Sunday, so I will be in Beaumont and be recorded from Beaumont on Sunday in the afternoon. So make sure you stick around, come back, and Let's make some good memories together, you know, on this channel. So, Big Boy signing out, and I will see you in the next couple of days. This video will be going up as a premiere, and it will probably premiere tomorrow. So, just FYI.